hey, we just released a new tool called Prompt Crafter, and in this short tutorial I'm quickly going to go over how to use it and what to use it for. Um, let's start with a simple prompt. Uh, let's say I want to generate a wolf. Uh, I found this image on Pinterest and I want to use this as reference for the styling. Um, and the image generated of the wolf should be in this style here. So I'm gonna just put it in a wolf here in the prompt field. Then I'm gonna open the prompt crafter. You can see the prompt gets added here automatically. Then I can paste this image from my clipboard into the reference image uh, selection. And now you need to select the reference image focus. What should the reference image be used for basically? You can select character style, environment style, color palette, lighting and composition. In my case, let's select character style because we want to use the stylized 3D look of this image. And um, if you want, you can also select a style here. Maybe let's say 3D stylized. Um, and let's click enhance prompt. This generates a new prompt based on your prompt. So you can generate a better image. Let's click use, it automatically adds it here. Let's click generate. Um, sometimes you have to play around with the settings a bit to get a uh, good image. In this case, you can see this created a pretty, pretty good image. We can up the guidance scale, which is how much should the generated image follow the prompt you gave it. So we can click generate again. Let's see if that uh, follows our prompt a bit better. If not, we can open the prompt. Yeah, that's not bad. If not, we can open this again. And let's click 3D stylized. Let's maybe add Pixar style, Disney style, 3D animated. Let's click enhance again. And then we can click use, generate. Let's see if that gives us a better image. Yeah, that's not bad. We can up the guidance scale a bit again. And you can see it follows the style uh, of the reference image you gave it. I'm gonna show you what else you can do. Let's use this actually in the prompt crafter in image to prompt. Just copy paste it in here as well. Um, and this tool is used if you have, for example, a cool image you like and you want to generate something similar. So in this case, I like this one a lot. Uh, but I, let's say I don't want this to be a shark. I want this to be a sheep. And we can simply explain what we want to change. So we're going to say change the shark to be a sheep. Let's click generate. Uh, or enhance prompt or generate prompt. This gives us a new uh, prompt. We can hit generate. Let's uh, lower the garden scale a bit and then try again. And as you can see, it uses the same styling as this image, but it changes the subject based on what you want to have changed. Um, let's try again with another image. And then, as you can see, that's not bad. So let's try another thing. Let's say I want to generate a, a cute sheep. And uh, I have this reference image, this right here, but I just want to use it for a color palette the colors, you can also use lighting, composition, um, but in this case, let's just use it for the colors. Let's click enhance prompt and let's see what that gives us. Let's click generate after clicking use and that should give us an uh, image in that color scheme. As you can see, it kind of took the colors, but uh, we can make that better. Let's say we want to have an illustration. Uh, illustration of uh, let's say character with a sword and we want to use the color palette let's see if that works well so and that should then use this black and white or dark atmosphere as you can see that works pretty well let's try another thing you could use this for the composition and let's say you want 3D style as a cute little sheep. And, and this then analyzes the composition and uses this uh, that for your prompt. Let's generate again. And let's see what that gives us. As you can see, that's a similar prompt. We'll also add more options, for example, more styles. We'll add more options here in the future but for now this is a pretty pretty useful tool in my opinion if you want to generate good prompts um, and you basically don't want to write the full prompt 
um, by just basically explaining what, uh, in simple terms, what you want to generate. The image to prompt tool is also pretty cool if you have an image uh, and you want to generate something similar and want to change specific things. Um, yeah, that's uh, it for now. You can also, a pretty cool thing, you can directly click copy here, go to image to 3D and paste it and click generate. This uh, makes generating way easier. You can simply copy paste it without needing to download. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. If you have any questions, shoot them in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon.